We opened our Monsignor Patrick Thompson Christian Service Center today with great joy. Uh, all, if not most, of our volunteers were here and so many of our benefactors who made it possible. We here in this parish are very much aware that in serving the poor, we're touching Christ. We receive him in Holy Communion, and then after Mass, of course, we go out to, to love and serve the Lord in our brothers and sisters. So this is a great and joyful day for us, that after two tough years of pandemic, we're not closing up, but we're expanding our ministries, and the Holy Spirit is giving us new energies to do so. This program is such an important part of the lifeblood of our parish. Uh, while many churches, especially in the last couple of years during COVID, were uh, slowing down or even eliminating their outreach to the poor, ours kept growing. And it's a sign that this parish community really believes in the words of Matthew chapter 25, where we are to serve people, those who are in need in any way, shape or form. Not only does this parish do it, we've embraced it. and. We've had just a wonderful uh, legacy of working with the poor, of uh, bringing the community together, not just our own parishioners, but local uh, grocery stores, food banks, where we become the center of activity here for the Lomita Harbor City area. Um, it's a privilege to be part of this program and of this parish. My role in volunteering is driving our church van to various grocery stores to pick up their food donations. So about Two weeks ago, I was approached by a young man in the parking lot who was gathering the shopping carts and wanted to thank me for everything that we do in our program. And he said, you know, I'm really just so happy because you help so many people. And I'm like, oh, you're welcome. You know, sure, it's, you know, it's what I can do. And he said, he goes, well, including my mom. So I thought that was just, it was very emotional in the parking lot and, you know, he got a little teary because apparently our program has helped his mom out and so he knew exactly where we, who we were and where we were from and he just wanted to thank someone. This center, named after Father Pat Thompson, is a great jewel right here in our city. We know that, that we feed the, the, the folks in our community, the homeless, those that need it, and having this expansion to, to feed more uh, families right here in our community means so much more. What's nice about it is that this uh, center, along with Laura, partners with a lot of different folks in and around the area. One of them being Community's Child just down the street that I serve on as their board president. And the, the relationship that Tara Nierenhausen and Laura Nieto have um, to feed the folks in this community is remarkable. They're true heroes in our community, especially Laura Nieto here at St. Margaret Mary. So having this center, um, I'm telling you, will go a long, long way in our community, and God bless them both. So Christian service has always been really close to my heart. Um, I remember one specific conversation that I had with Father Pat, and he told me he had a dream of building a Christian service center. And both of us kind of dreamed big and said that that would be so good. And to name the new center in his honor, to me, um, it just chokes me up because not only did he serve people, he cared for people, but he empowered. And that's what Christian service does. We take people that are broken and need food, but we give them much more than that. We give them the respect that sometimes is not given to them. So to be able to do that here and my home parish with the name of Father Pat Thompson is a dream come true for me.